God is about to blow your mind. When I talk like this, I talk from the place of knowing. I know what the Lord has said to me. I know what God has said is going to do. I don't talk from the place of assumption. I speak to you from the place of knowing. I know what he said to me this morning before I left. I knew I'm going to talk to great people. I know I'm going to talk to people that God has got a plan for. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody, but you don't look excited. If you're excited about what God will do, because when men say there is a casting down, you shall say there is a living. You know, why? Because there is something that is about to hit your life. That the world will look at you. The whole Cyprus will know about you. Even nations will begin to call upon you. The Lord is about to take you from your here to your there. Amen. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, but the sir. time has come that when they call your name, they will know the meaning of blessings. Yes, when sir. they call your name, they will say, ah, the time has come. I want to be like that man because what God will do, he will blow you from where you are and you will explode like an atomic bomb. Amen. Your family story should not distort where you are going to. It doesn't matter where you are born. Even Jesus was born in the midst of sheep and lamb. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. I don't care where you are coming from. There is something God is molding. Even the... the, the, the <laughs> hey, Lemos. Say it. I asked the brother, I said, what is your desire in life? He said, I want to work for an oil company. I said, wow, what a great desire. You want to work for an oil company? Why? He said, because they pay well. I said, what an awesome desire. But somebody owns the oil company. Somebody's going to sign and say, you are now appointed. I said, come on. That vision is limited. When we, we receive the word of God, we, we should receive the word of God in joy. Because that is the most important time of life. When you receive the word of life into your spirit and into your life. Because the word of God makes you what he talks about. And when you believe that, the word of God begins to change your life. There is no ephesi or swag in this life except in the word. When you have the word of God, the word of God will give you a special swag. S-W-A-G. Saved with amazing grace. Amen. So we are saved by grace. Hallelujah. And that's why we have swag in the presence. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Now, we are going to go in straight on into the word of God. And I know God is going to show you so many great things tonight and God is going to reveal himself in a different way to you. We have so many things that we need to look at, especially in the word of God. We have so many things we need to study in this time and in this season. But we are going to be just experiencing the word of God one after the other and God will be releasing to us what he has in store for us. Um, you know, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11 said something very important. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. The Bible said there, it said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace or thoughts of good and not of evil. To what? To give you an expectation third end. There is an expectation waiting for you at the end. There is a great plan God has in store for everyone here. God has got an expected end for you. He said, I have a great thought towards you. A thought of good or a thought of peace and not of evil to give you to bring you to an expected end. That means no matter what you are going through right now, you are going to end well. Because God is thinking a big, big thoughts for you. God has got you in his mind. God knows you by name. God is going to release his word for one reason. So that the expected end you will meet. He said, even before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. He knew the great man. He knew the man that would never suffer lack. He knew the man that would take the whole world by force. He knew the man that would take the whole generation and will be known from generation to generation. There is a great plan God has for you. He said, I will give you an expected end. 
and it is time for the church to begin to realize what are those ends? What am I supposed to see? While God is leading me to those ends, what am I supposed to experience? There is something that I feel in the atmosphere, and I know that many of you are beginning to all actually get into that realm. God is beginning to visit people in dreams, in visions. God is beginning to reveal some things to you. God is beginning to speak to you. You are beginning to get sensitive to some of the things that you are not sensitive to before. God is beginning to change something in your heart. And I know that is what God is doing this season. And there's going to be an increase in your life like never before. There's going to be breakthroughs like never before. Testimonies like never before. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody in the house. But if you are the first person, God will begin this is in shout a better amen to that. God is about to blow your mind. When I talk like this, I talk from the place of knowing. I know what the Lord has said to me. I know what God has said is going to do. I don't talk from the place of assumption. I speak to you from the place of knowing. I know what he said to me this morning before I left. I knew I'm going to talk to great people. I know I'm going to talk to you, people Papa. that God has got a plan for. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody, but I you don't see. look excited. If you're excited about what God will do, because when men say there is a casting down, you shall say there is a lift. You know, he said, let the poor say I am rich and let the weak say I am poor. Why? Because there is something that is about to hit your life. That the world will look at you. The whole Cyprus will know about you. Even nations will begin to call upon you. The Lord is about to take you from your here to your there. Amen. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, but sir. the time has come that when they call your name, they will know the meaning of blessings. Yes, when sir. they call your name, they will say, ah, the time has come. I want to be like that man because what God will do, he will blow you from where you are and you will explode like an atomic bomb. Amen. If I'm talking to you, somebody say a better amen. Amen. To God. That is what the word of God is going to do. The word is working in you. You may not look like it now, but God is at work in you. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. God is changing something in you. You see, I know you before you were formed. I knew you. That means God already has got a plan before your father and your mother met. Before anybody has got any kind of thoughts, any kind of opinion about you, God has got one already. So you need to understand that God is in the business this season in molding you into that person he saw even before your father and mother determined the color of your, your skin. Determined the kind of family you will come from. That's why you don't sit down and say, I am from Africa, things will happen differently. You are not from Africa, you were molded somewhere. You are, you are only assembled in Africa. So your family name should not distort your heavenly name. Your family story should not distort where you are going to. It doesn't matter where you are born. Even Jesus was born in the midst of sheep and lamb. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. I don't care where you are coming from. There is something God is molding. Even the... the, the, the <laughs> hey, Lemos. Say it. Listen. Listen, you better get excited this season. Yes, sir. Because this God is about to surprise you. Amen. That one I'm very sure. Look at somebody say, God is about to surprise you. God is about to surprise you. He's going to send his word to you. Amen. I receive. If you're here for the first time, this is how we do it here. We are excited yeah. about the word of God. We are excited about the word of God. Because he's doing something in you. Amen, somebody. Now, the Bible says something very important. And we need to pay attention to this. If God has got a plan for me, if God has, is set to give me an expected end, that means God already set in motion what he's going to do in my life even before I came forth. God already set in motion angels that are going to guide you in certain parts in, of life so that you can get to the expected end. God already set his blessings on your way so that as you walk through the leading of his voice, you get 
to that expected end. God's expected end for you will not end in failure. God's expected end for you will not end in poverty. God's expected end for you will not end in sickness. You won't die like any other person. Amen. You won't end up like every other person. There is something unique God is doing in your life. The time has come for you to realize that out of everyone here, you are unique. There is nobody here sharing your DNA. Nobody here shares your thumbprint. Nobody here shares your pupil, you know, the way it's constructed. Every of these things, God made you unique to show you that you are absolutely different. I have a plan for you. I have a plan. My thoughts. My thoughts. So you can imagine what is happening in God's thoughts right now. So how can we align ourselves? How can we walk accordingly to the plan of God? Because now we know that God has an expected and there's, there's a place God is taking us to. Everyone that you see here is on a journey. Nobody is there yet. But God constantly is working in us, through us, through his word, to bring in us to that expected end. You see, I don't doubt it. Many people here, I'm telling you the truth, many people here in the next 10 years, in the next 7 years, they will be the ones taking people into jobs. Their signature alone will give you a job. Amen. If your amen is the loudest, you will be the one amen. that will give you I asked a brother, I said, what is your desire in life? He said, I want to work for an oil company. I said, wow, what a great desire. You want to work for an oil company? Why? He said, because they pay well. I said, what an awesome desire. But somebody owns the oil company. Somebody's going to sign and say, you are now appointed. I said, come on. That vision is limited. That vision is limited. And that's why we need the word of God to expand our vision. To expand the way we think. To expand the way we see life. You can't die a, 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 a local champion. You can't end up just in the midst of them. Everybody works in our company. You want to work there. Everybody does this. You want, somebody owns that. You are going to own your us, your own, your own or your company. You own people, you own companies, you own everything is answerable to you. Somebody says, is it possible? It's possible because greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in all the world put together. There is something at work in you. That's why I keep telling you, in short, you are too loaded. You are too loaded to fail. Loaded with God, loaded with his word, loaded with grace, loaded with the anointing. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Loaded with specialties from the kingdom of heaven. You are so loaded that anybody that sees you, they can't decode who you are. Because you are hidden. 